Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel, where I'm always breaking down the hot sports topics of the day. So be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe to my page uh, to get all of my videos delivered directly to your inbox. Robert Griffin III, outstanding rookie quarterback for the Washington Redskins. I've been impressed with his on-the-field play this season, certainly. Uh, he's dazzled all of us, I think, uh, bursting onto the scene, meeting all of our expectations. But it's off the field and the maturity level that he shows uh, that re really impresses me and really stands out to me. And yet again today, you know, just in reading some of the uh, sports uh, press clippings, uh, two things came out today that even show me even more uh, the type of, of, of guy he is, uh, how he just gets it overall. Some athletes and, and celebrities, they get it. Uh, they get the public perception part of what they do. Uh, they get the overall viewpoint of how athletes a lot of times are viewed as being spoiled. Certain guys get that and really are genuine and go about their business in a professional manner. And RG3 is looking more and more like he's really one of those guys, a genuine guy. First thing is, uh, you know, just in he had, he mentioned in an interview how his knee injury uh, that he suffered late in the season definitely got him to play differently after he was hit by Haloti Nada, suffered that knee injury. Uh, it definitely got him to uh, approach the game differently. And I think that shows a tremendous sign of maturity because how many of these NFL quarterbacks or ath professional athletes in general have done, thing one way, done something one way their whole life, had a tremendous amount of success, they get to the professional level, whatever they're doing may need to be tinkered with, may need to be changed in order to preserve the long-term success that they'll have at the professional level and how many guys choose not to do that and do things their way and as a result have their careers affected and I think by RG3 coming out and saying that and acknowledging that maybe he needs to change the way he approaches the game in order to ensure the longevity of his career I mean how insightful is that for a young kid like him to step back and recognize that I and mean, this kid's been playing football one way his whole life he's a tremendous prospect, has had nothing but success, but yet it seems like he's always looking for ways to improve his game. And I actually like that he's doing that from a football fan perspective uh, because it's just seeing too many guys uh, do things and, and you know in the back of your mind, wow, this guy's a heck of a player in whatever sport he plays, but the way he plays is so reckless, he's going to have a short shelf life. And I think RG3 is a good enough quarterback passing the ball, picking his spots to run, Sort of like Donovan McNabb used to. McNabb didn't have the speed that Griffin did, but he certainly had enough speed to be a scrambling quarterback if he wanted to. But I think McNabb did a very good job of picking his spots to scramble, and I think that's what you'll see RG3 do. And RG3 is, I mean, as far as accuracy throwing the ball, um, he's already probably in the upper echelon of the NFL in that respect anyway. So I don't even think that's any, I don't think he even. Uh, needs to scramble and run around to be an NFL quarterback. And, you know, again, going forward as an NFL fan, uh, it's definitely great to see. Uh, something else that came out today uh, that happened at the end of the uh, Cowboys-Redskins game also stuck out in my my mind. And, and really, this is something that I really just gained a whole lot of respect for RG3 and how he handled the post-game embrace with uh, Tony Romo. If you watched uh, NBC, they showed this. They showed a post-game uh, sort of hug or a little conversation between a dejected Tony Romo and uh, truly professional Robert Griffin III. And, you know, in these post-game conversations, you never really know uh, what one person says to another. Uh, but RG3 realizing the moment, realizing the scrutiny that Romo was going to come under, not only after the game, but in the weeks and months and years to come, you know, sort of embraced him and whispered to him the fact that you know, don't pay attention to what anyone says about you. You know, you're a great quarterback. And just realizing in that moment, this guy, this kid just won the biggest football game. I don't know if it's of his life, but definitely of his NFL career. And he has the presence of mind to seek out Tony Romo to embrace him, and to really, uh, you know, comfort him in a way. And I thought that was just showed a, a – when I talk about a guy that gets it, he gets it. He knows what Tony Romo is going to go through in the next day, week, month, or year because, uh, you, know, he, he's, you know, he's been a fan of the NFL up till this year. And, he, and he's from Texas, so he knows uh, what's coming for Tony Romo. And I think to have a sense of the moment like that, 
And to do that when the cameras aren't watching, I mean, he didn't know that a mic was going to pick up what he actually said to Tony Romo. All right, so that was another, in my mind, genuine thing that Robert Griffin did. And overall, you just, outside of these two examples, you hear his teammates naming him captain in the middle of the season. You hear, um, you know, just the overall respect they have for him and how they look at him as a leader and how he's the first guy there, the last guy to leave. Um, You know, it just it doesn't end with this guy. He just impresses you at every turn. And never mind how he handled the whole Rob Parker situation. I, he handled that with class and grace as well. And at this point, you know, I'm not surprised he handled it so well. Rob Parker is, is you know, he was a buffoon for what he said. And, um, you know, probably should have got fired for it, but he didn't. Uh, he only got suspended by ESPN. But nonetheless, you know, you know, it's a guy like Rob Parker, uh, guys who try to cut people down like this, and then, Robert Griffin's response, you know, was was just classy all the way around. Those two examples I gave, the Rob Parker situation, uh, how he handled the whole hype around him coming into the NFL, how he got the respect of his teammates despite being him being him being the hyped hotshot rookie coming in, all of it just equates to what I think is going to be a fun decade, maybe even decade plus of football as a Washington Redskins fan. And I know you guys are looking forward to the Seahawks game this week. And I know a lot of you might watch this video after you read, after you, uh, sorry, watch my preview of the game. And just because I picked the Seahawks to beat the Redskins doesn't think, doesn't mean I don't think Robert, the world of Robert Griffin III and the career he's going to have in the NFL. And as a fan of a team that uh, could use a quarterback, I'm definitely jealous. You guys are going to get to watch him for the next decade plus. And, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think of RG3. I mean, are you guys as sold on him as I am? I, I appreciate his other attributes just as much as his play on the field. What do you guys think? Uh, let me know. Hit me up on Twitter as well, at S News Analysis. Thanks, guys.